It's now a few weeks later and I've managed to secure the perimeter of the base and I've also been down to McCoy Login just to pick up some supplies. It was actually pretty quiet down there. So yeah, the log wall's all done. Pretty nice indeed, nice and cosy. And uh, a lot of dead zombies. These seem to be appearing from absolutely everywhere. I think I've actually dragged a lot of them up from the center of Moldro, which could be a bit of a problem. And I've got this little shitty door as well. I probably need to replace that when I've got the skill to do that, but I managed to get another axe. I've actually broke one in the process of actually building the log wall and uh, some wood glue, a trowel and stuff. So I'm going to start farming later and I've got some glue, some books, some shotgun shells as well. I'm actually going to take my shotgun with me uh, because it's pretty dangerous down there. There seems to be a lot of action and stuff seems to be moving from all directions to me as I believe I'm probably the only person in Moldro, which could be pretty bad for me. Uh, but today I need to find a generator, I've got a feeling the power might go out at some stage. And I'm also going to have to find a manual on how to use it. Unfortunately I've never used a generator before or plugged one, so that could be a bit of a problem. Got this little pile of zombies as well, just down here, uh, probably set fire to them. So I need to get a gas can um, and a fuel powered generator. It could be very hard to do, and it could be extremely hard to carry back on my own without any, well, anything to help me carry it back, like a wheelbarrow or something like that. So I'm going to have to physically lug it with my own bare hands uh, while dodging these just extreme hordes of zombies that seem to be around. They are at every angle, literally at every angle, just like, just spread everywhere. I'm actually going to try and be a bit more sneaky. I'm going to have to sprint, but do need to be a lot more sneaky and what I'm looking for today is actually to find some sheds and um, I've got a feeling generators could be in there or it did actually see an electrical store further south which I might need to go into as well and they could possibly have either manuals on generators or actual generators holy shit right okay um I might have to use my shotgun tactically let's just shoot a few there and Fuck. I mean, if I could draw him to this spot, I'm actually going further away. So, um, ah, fuck that, I won't take that shot. Um, hopefully the ones from up north will now come south away from my base, but yeah, I never can tell. Never can tell, but it's just extreme. I don't understand where all of these have come from. And I need to keep myself isolated as possible by doing kind of clean-up runs, etc. around my base, because... I don't want these just sitting around shitting on the outside of my walls. You know, it'd just be just be bad stuff. I also do need to get some food as well, so I think this is the pile of crepe restaurant. Um so I'll try and get some crepe. Some crepe for the boys. Uh, right, let's just get my axe out, take that garbage bag. We'll need to start making kind of water catcher things or rain catchers in the near future. So the quicker I can stockpile all that and a battery as well, I might as well take that. Um, then, you know, it's going to work out better for me. Right, let's axe this door open. Doesn't seem to be anything round. They've probably all gone towards the shotgun shell. Um, shotgun shot, rather. Shotgun shell, just like on the floor. Just a bit of casing, like, whoo. Right, okay, what have we got in here? Okay, let's just get my shotgun back on. And I'm going to loot this for food and then head back out. Managed to get a decent amount of food from Pile of Crep. Just tried to get into Spiffos and that's a no-go. Uh, it's not exactly overrun, but there's enough there to kind of trouble me. I'm not the best shot either, so I'm just making a pass down... Oh, right, there's quite a few outside the bank. Uh, just making a pass down to the Foss Oil gas station. Hopefully get some gas cans and uh, other good fuel equipment. Well, gas cans really, but let's see how bad this is. Right, there's a few stragglers. If I can sneak around the back, that's going to be beneficial to me and probably a lot safer. Right, I'm going to have to axe this door down as well by the looks of things. They never open, never open. Just take these garbage bags again. Um, it seems like a lot of the zombies that usually reside in the town centre on the main road, uh, just outside of here, seem to have moved towards my base and that's fucking really worrying. Um, if that amount come to my base, I've got the defensives, the defensives, defenses, the ammunition, or the walls to uh, deal with that at all, and I'd probably get bummed quite quickly. 
Right, let's just take these two out. Fuck off. Sit down, you bitch. Right, okay. Right, let's just hack away at these. And there should also be some more kind of non-perishable food, like some orange soda and chips in here. Take this key. Too sure where that's for. It's probably for here or a nearby house, but might as well take it. It's going to make my life a lot easier. Right, okay, what have we got? Let's take that. Orange soda. Um, we need gas cans, gas cans, gas cans. Um, okay, we've got some gas cans, some chips. Take them. Charcoal, obviously, I can use for a barbecue. I need to work out how I would actually move one of them as well. Um, the power actually hasn't gone off yet, which is quite nice. And I could also do with finding some electronical scrap or some CD players, other electronical things. An empty gas can. Right, okay. Um, just so I can make bombs. Let's take all these chips. All these chips. Until I get my farm and going, I'm going to have to do a lot of food runs. Take that empty gas can. I can fill this outside um, from the pumps, but if the power goes off, I think these pumps might be useless. And I'm not too sure if I'll be able to power... Fuck that, actually. Fuck that. Uh, I'll be able to power this gas station with a generator. I'm not too sure. I might need two generators or... I don't know. Really don't know. Take this water bottle as well. Um, okay, right. Let's drop that one and we'll take a full one with us. Uh, I need to get this back home. I'll take the one for now. I think that should power a generator for a few days. I think it'd be a case of probably getting a lot of cooking pots like I have been doing. Uh, turning the power on, filling all them up with pure water or purified water and then turn it off. I'm going to have to use it relatively sparingly. Okay, what have we got through the back? Hopefully no Zeds. No, seem to be all right. I still haven't seen a generator in all my travels. Not even like a spare one kicking around the back of a restaurant or anything like that, which is uh, which is bad. Which is bad indeed. Um, right, let's just push out again. Okay, what have we got? Shotgun, let's take that out again. Uh, just in case. Put my axe in my backpack. Oh no, I can't. Shit. School bag's probably not big enough for a fucking fire axe. Okay, right, let's head out. So at least I got that can, which is nice, which is very good indeed. And I'm going to push this back home and then try and look for some more generators. Just going to have to be relatively cautious. Just go through the trees trying to break visibility. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Come out of nowhere. All right, let's keep running around, see what we can get. So I managed to get back and I'm going to do some troweling, or some farming with my trowel. And I've also had some zombie groans, so going to investigate that outside the wall. Right, yeah, okay, definitely got zombies. Let's just push this fucker. Ah, uh, right, okay, there's a lot more. I thought there might have been one. Um, again, that's worrying, the fact that there's like four or five there. Let's just get the axe and uh, deal with the situation properly. And uh, going to do some farming, and get that started, as it started to rain quite a bit, heading through August now, earliest part of August. And uh, it should rain a lot more, so should have a decent amount of water. Went off to tit around a lot, you know, watering plants and all that stuff I can't really be bothered with. Even though I need to to survive, it's good if nature does it for me. Good old nature. Right, there we go. Okay, it's definitely dead. Let's just do a little search around. Can't see anything else. Okay, pearl necklace. <laughs> um, right. Let's just search around this bit, see what we've got. Um, just a lot of dead, I think. Yep, just a lot of dead. So I'm actually going to farm in this field over here. Um, I've got a decent amount of seeds that I've been picking up. All the seed packets. Ah, oh, that gate's locked. Can I open that from the other side? No, that's a bit of a shame. Um, obviously this is all kind of pre-made, so I'm just going to re-dig it, re-trowel that shit, get planted some seeds, and I should be good to go then. Um, if I can get maybe cabbages and broccoli, they're fairly quick growing stuff. I'm not going to bother with carrots, I just, I just haven't got the time or the the dexterity to grow carrots. Um, so I'll just go with the simple stuff for now until I learn what I'm doing. And I should have a decent amount of food within, well, providing all stuff goes well. Within probably a week, maybe 10 days, should have some good stuff. And uh, that'll be decent because I won't have to eat all of my non-perishable goods. And I can just stockpile them for a rainy, snowy or sunny day. 
So I've been out all day and just looking for different bits of food, non-perishable goods, random items, and looking for a generator. Unfortunately, I haven't actually found anything decent yet. And I've just come back to my original house just to check that there was nothing um, that I missed originally. Well, I have got a lot of books, a lot of, you know, tutorial books there. Skill books, craftsman, hobby books, whatever, pawn books, I don't know. I don't know. Right, dog food. Bleach, I'm not too bothered about at the moment. Providing the Zeds don't get in my base, they can bleed all over the place. Um, but this is getting pretty desperate. I think the power might have gone out. All these houses look extremely dark. And I'm just ninjaing my way around a lot of these zombies, other than them two behind me. Um, even though I am sprinting, I seem to be doing okay at actually not drawing their attention. I'm just trying not to set off house alarms. Right, what have we got here? Okay, so we've got the medical center. I think I'm going to spend the night here. Uh, I know it's 1320, but I don't know. I just need a safe place, and I believe this place has got a lot of different layers, walls and doors, obviously because it's a house. But uh, the more doors and walls between me and them, the better. There were some by the main road there, which is which is bad. No, I haven't spotted me. Awesome. Okay, let's just head in. Uh, I haven't got my hammer with me, I don't think, so I can't even barricade anything up. Okay, what have we got? Oh shit, okay, just a zombie looking in a mirror. Just, you know, checking himself out. Let's just axe him down. Let's axe him a question. Alright, a key. Okay, so this could be the key for this medical centre, which is pretty nice. Yeah, okay, so we can lock that. Not that that'll make a lot of difference because the Zeds are just... Holy shit, uh, the Zeds are just jumped through the window. Right, let's just take these out. Hopefully there's not like a fucking abundance of these fuckers in here. Because that'd be pretty bad. Okay. There should be a decent amount of medical stuff that I can take back as well. Obviously being a medical center. Another key? Right, I'll take that. It could be here or it could be a nearby house. Again, you know, it's not going to hurt me to have a massive bundle of keys on me, other than the noise it'd probably make. Okay, painkillers, decent. What else have we got? Okay, alcohol wipes I will take. Um, I'll take that needle. Huh? Shit, I haven't got enough space for the needle. Alright, that's worrying. I definitely need to find a bigger bag. Run around this little Hello Kitty school bag's not doing me any favours. Oh, hopefully it's no Zeds in here. What have we got? A big hiking bag. Brilliant. Awesome. Ah, and an alarm clock. Right, so I should be able to use this to lure zombies, which could be a massive help when I head further down south to find a generator. Uh, but what I'm going to do is empty this bag out into the other one, and in the morning, head down and hopefully, hopefully find this fucking generator. I had a good night's sleep, and I've now come out to loot a few of the houses surrounding Cormor Medical Center, uh, with my alarm clock equipped. And I'm just going to try and take as much as I physically can uh, with me. I might have to drop a bit of stuff, providing if I find the generator or not. Okay, let's just take all these rounds. And there's a lot of zombie aggro, as per usual. Another water ball there. Probably leave that. I'll take the canned carrots instead. Um, I do actually need to eat something. Let's just scram this cherry down. Just one solitary cherry. What a meal. What a meal. And uh, I think there should be quite a few sheds around here, so let's just check what we've got in here first. Hairspray, painkillers. Um, okay, I'm going to leave all that for the time being. Oh, okay. Just looking out the window, just lock her in there for the time being. Some pants. I just really need to find a generator manual. Um, even though I will be delighted to find the generator if I do actually find one. Um, I can't actually do anything with it, and it is a lot of hassle for, for basically fucking nothing. Um, other than the, the you know, potential power to my home. And I'm not even too sure if I'm going to be able to move house, certainly for the first kind of few days anyway. I'm just going to have to push this zombie, uh, sorry, for the first few months. Simply until I can clear an area out, I do actually want to move to the motel, which is in real close proximity to the gas station. Right, she doesn't have anything on her. Um, but that's just a long way off. A real long way off to start with. Okay, let's close this. And have I checked everything? Really don't know. This house not have a back door. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Back to all there. Okay. Alright, so there's some Zeds. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of Zeds. And there's a shed as well. Alright, let's launch this alarm clock. That should draw a few over when it starts ringing. Alright, and this is locked, so we're gonna have to chop this down. Come on. Come on. Alright, let's just lure him out. Just gotta be super, super fucking cautious. I've got a lot of good food and supplies on me, so I don't wanna have to drop anything or get injured unnecessarily. Not that you could get injured, you know, necessarily. That doesn't make sense. Um, okay. Let's take this pink shirt wearing bastard down. Or pink sweater. Could be a long sleeve shirt. Okay, let's check what we've got. Nope. Fuck all. Right, okay, there's a gas can in there. That's good to know. I'll have to keep that in memory just in case. And, right, they have been drawn to the alarm clock up there. They seem to be a bit bewildered. I'm just going to check the surrounding area and probably head even further south again. Uh, I haven't got a clue which houses have got sheds, but I don't know. Let's just check up here first. Okay, right, we've got another shed. This could be the one. Come on. Right, let's just take this straggler out. Fucking hell. Okay. Alright, please be open. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's try and jimmy this open. Normally you can actually see him through windows. I mean, I could look through. A generator is not exactly a small thing. Not an easy thing to miss, anyway. Right, nothing again. Fuck, there's a lot of hammers and a lot of thread in every single one. So if I need hammers and thread, I know where to come. But, yeah, I'm going to have to head further south and see what I can find down there. Say, come on, just sit down. Fucking hell. Right, so basically I'm super tired. Uh, I've been out for the whole day. I've searched probably the best part of nine or ten sheds dotted around Muldrow. And I'm just at one of the last ones, kind of really far south. And I'm not tired. I can't even deck zombies with an extremely sharp axe. So, fuck. <sighs> the combination of pushing and cutting... Uh, and I really need some sleep. So, um, there is actually a shed just by this house, which I'm going to check. I think there's probably another three or four sheds left to check around this area. Um, I have seen a few when I've been running. So, you know, all hope's not lost. And if not, I'm going to have to head up to West Point. Fucking hell. Oh, swinging like a hamster running through treacle. Treacle? Treacle. Okay. So, let's just break into this house. See if there's anything in the bins. Doesn't seem to be. Okay. Right, there's definitely zombies in there, but I'm really super exhausted. Right. Let's try and ninja our way upstairs. Okay, right. There's four. Okay, they haven't detected me for some reason. Um, I haven't really got the energy to fight. And what I'm going to actually do is just... Just kind of slunk into this room. Um, let's just open this up. Yeah, seems to be a clear room. Get some rest. And uh, I'll deal with them in the morning. I'll take that video game as well. Should be able to get some scrap from that. Let's just check what else we've got. Pants, socks. No, so I'm going to get some rest and uh, hopefully, hopefully won't die. Somehow, the zombies downstairs didn't detect the fact that I was sleeping upstairs. So, I'm uh, all pretty good to go at the moment. And, uh, yeah, just going to head downstairs. Got a lot of good stuff on me. And um, just open a few doors, see what we've got. Duffel bag, don't really need. I think the big hiking bag's probably the biggest I've found. Oh, shit. Some girl going psycho in the shower there. Okay, right, cool. Oh, shit. Right, I think I might have alerted them. What the fuck? Right, nice. Uh, oh shit. Right, okay, this could be trouble. Um, I did shut the window after me, I think, downstairs. So maybe it's just the ones from downstairs. I don't remember, there were five? Or were there four? I think there were four. Hopefully there were four. Right, let's keep hacking away. Right, I think they're all gone. Let's just check if they're anything good. I'm just hoping that one of these is actually carrying, like, a fucking generator manual on them. Um, let's take that key. It's probably for this house, I should think. And I think we're all okay. 
I think we're all okay indeed. Ah, box of sparklers, right, I'll need them for bombs. Uh, let's just eat these chips now. Need to keep my energy really high because I am a long way from home. Um, and still got a lot of searching to do. Alright, canned sardines and potatoes. Take them. Now I've got my bigger backpack. I'm not really going to be able to afford to take the, um, the cooking pot with me. It's a bit too large. Especially if I do find what I'm looking for. Some rounds, video game, we'll take that. I'm not going to bother with the rounds. Okay, what have we got in here? Come on. Nope, nothing. Just a fucking magazine and a carpentry for dummies book. Okay, let's head out and check this shed. Hell, that's how long it took me to kill him last night. Look at the blood streak. Jesus Christ. Okay, right, it's not open. Let's try and jimmy this open. Come on. No, nothing. Oh, there's one in there. Get the fuck in. Yes. Right. Okay, so I should be able to power my base. I've just got to work a way of carrying this home. Uh, and actually getting into it. I don't want to smash this window. Oh, that's brilliant. I still can't operate it, but it's uh, it's brilliant. Shit, we've got a zombie following me as well. Um, oh, let's take this generator. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to connect that anywhere. That is a shame. So I'm going to have to come back and find the manual. Fuck, this is going to be difficult. I'm a good two or three miles, I think, from home. Got to head north. Jesus. Again, the treacle running. The treacle running's back. All right, generator. Can't pull out my backpack. Obviously, it's too big for my backpack. Oh, shit. I mean, luckily, it is the beginning of the day. That is one thing that I've got on my side. Um, I'm just going to have to keep eating and... Oh, let's just eat this ketchup quickly. Just to boost my health, boost my strength, rather. Give me some calories, give me some sugar to burn. Ketchup's full of it. I think it's just sugar and vinegar anyway. And some, like, red dye. Alright, there are clusters of zombies. It's when I get up north I'm more worried about kind of buying my base. Oh, shit. Alright, I did actually go through all this on my way down here. Uh, probably going to have to take the scenic route, I think. Alright, let's just keep heading up. Really do need to get this back, though. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed. I mean, I could live without power, but that just... It makes everything a lot more difficult to live without power when I have the option to live with power. Um, or electricity. Not with, like, power, you know, kind of Kim Jong-un power. But, um, let's keep going. Right, where's this? Okay, the food market. So I'm probably a third of the way there. Maybe it wasn't three miles. I think it's going to feel like ten running this slow, though. I'm pretty depressed as well. Should be happy. Just found the generator. It's now 20 to 5 in the evening, and I'm still running, and I think, yeah, there's the cornfields. I finally got home, so it's took me the best part of 6 hours uh, to run at Dodge, and there's still a massive zombie problem beneath me further south, but it seems to have filtered with, I don't know, maybe the tactical shotgun shot and the alarm clock. Not the alarm clock's going to be that loud, but the town is kind of deadly quiet other than a few shots, and... The helicopters and planes have stopped flying over, so that's not drawing anyone anywhere, which is quite good. And uh, I need to get this stuff into the shed. I don't want to actually put this in my house, simply as it's going to exhaust a lot of toxic fumes, which could do some damage to me, unfortunately. And uh, hopefully I can get this in the shed and then go out and find a manual in the near future. But did pretty well, managed to get a generator, and hopefully I can actually power my home soon. Gonna have to find gas as well and sort out the gas situation at some stage. But managed to get back, managed to get a generator, got some gas, got a lot of food, and I'm still alive. So not too bad, not too bad at all.